Question 1. To reduce blind spot, I adjust the mirror correctly. Yes, A. No, B. Properly adjusting the mirror helps reduce blind spots. However, it does not completely eliminate them and does not eliminate the need to turn your head, particularly during maneuvers and before changing lanes. Question 2. The child travels to the right place. Yes, A. No, B. Its installation is correct. Yes, C. No, D. A child under 10 years old travels in the back, so he is in the right place. However, he must travel in a restrained system adapted to his size, allowing the seat belt to perform its function correctly. Here, he must be placed on a booster seat so that the belt passes over his shoulder without disturbing him. Question 3. An accident has just happened. I stop as close as possible to the damaged car. A. I place the warning triangle at 30 meters approximate to the accident. B. When an accident has just happened, I stop at a certain distance from the damaged vehicle so as not to hinder the rescue team when the firefighters are on the scene. I put on the safety vest and place the warning triangle about 30 meters from the accident so that it is feasible to the driver traveling on the same road. Question 4. I am ready for a stop at the light. Yes, A, no, B. Temporary traffic light operate to alternate traffic. The flashing yellow light located at the bottom and replacing the green light allow me to pass, but with caution. So I am ready for a stop because it can go in next to a yellow or then to red. I will meet a black current or donkey back, A, a speed bump, B, a natural deformation of pavement, C, a level crossing, D. The signage does not allow any black current or any deformation of the road or level crossing. It announced a speed bump, which is deliberately installed there. I will cross it at a reduced speed so as not to damage the chalk absorber. Question 6. If possible, I illuminate the accident area with my light. Position light A, low beam light B, high beam light C. When the situation is appropriate, I illuminate the accident area with low beam light. The position lights are visible but not illuminated enough, and the high beam light will dazzle the drivers that are coming on the other way. Question 7. During the first kilometer of a long journey, fuel consumption is appropriately 20% higher than the recorded for the entire journey. Yes, A. No, B. Fuel consumption is much greater when the engine is cold during the short trip. Over the first kilometer of a long journey, it is appropriately 50% higher than the average consumption recorded throughout the journey. Question 8. The passenger is 16 years old who faces a fine. The passenger, A, the driver, B, both, C.
The driver is always responsible for minor passenger he carries. The passenger under 18 did not wear a seal belt. In this case, the person driving should be ensured that the passenger who is a minor had fastened a seat belt. It is therefore the driver who faced the fine of 135 euros. Question 9. I am driving at 80 km per hour. I am at good distance from this car. Yes, A. No, B. The safety interval to the vehicle in front of me is not two seconds. At 80 km per hour, this distance should be around 50 meter, which is far from this case. Counting the number of center line stroke, I will have to slow down to increase the safety interval. Question 10. I commit a hit and run if I don't stop. If bodily accident, yes, A, no, B. Material accident, yes, C, no, D. After causing any type of accident, I must stop immediately, at least to identify or communicate my identity. If I continue on my way, I commit a hit and run, which is a serious offense and heavily punished.